If I traded it all, if I gave it So welcome back, everyone. My next guest is Dr. Baird, and he is the owner of Utopia Primary Care. Uh, welcome to the show, doctor. Uh, tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what we're going to talk about today. Sure. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Baird. I'm a, a family doctor. I'm uh, practicing uh, in uh, kind of northeast Scottsdale around uh, Shea and Frank Lloyd Wright area on the southeast corner there. And uh, I've been in practice in Scottsdale since 1991. Uh, but uh, two years ago, kind of transitioned to what's called a concierge practice, which is a smaller type of practice where um, we can have a, have a little bit longer time with patients and have same-day appointments and maybe get back to how medicine used to be a long time ago. Wow. Uh, and isn't it about time, you know, uh, it, because we've, we've changed. I mean, especially things have really, really changed in the last few years oh, absolutely in the last 25 years that i've been in practice really it's you know i've seen a big change you know in the, in the number of patients you have to see per day just to sort of stay solvent in a routine practice and it it gets in the way of uh, a good patient physician relationship and people don't feel as satisfied with that relationship as they used to i'd really like to get back to something uh, that's a little uh, kinder and gentler and and maybe a little more patient-centered and not uh, what's best for the doctor or or the office setting now, you had mentioned concierge medicine. Uh, what does that really mean? Well, I, I think it's, uh, you know, someone coined that term, you know, several years ago. I, I think it's just meant to say a, a smaller practice that uh, the payment system is a little bit different. So that instead of, mm -hmm. of traditionally going through an insurance program and, and billing it and being reimbursed that way, I'm reimbursed directly from the patient. Uh, I have an annual fee that, that they pay and... And that's it, and that's for every service I can provide, whether that's an office visit or a hospital visit or a phone consultation or by email or, you know, a, a number of different ways that we can get together that may be different than, than what's in a traditional practice, uh, hopefully allowing for same-day appointments, longer appointment times, more time spent with your doctor. I, I think most people like that. You know, um, we're all, we've all been to the doctor before, and... You know, by the time you get there, you wait in the office area for, you know, 20, 30 minutes. You wait in the exam room for a little while. Then you only have 5, 10 minutes with the physician, and then you got the drive back. It's a half day off from work. It's a, it's a big commitment. Um, I, I'd really like to see this shorten that up and, and make it easier on people. Right. Now, does concierge medicine mean 24-7 that you're on call for that person? Absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm the only one, so if they, uh, if they call me, uh, that's, who, that's who they get. Um, you know, they day or night, day or night, you know, weekends, holidays, whatever that is. Um, and that's, you know, it, that, I think a lot of people seem like, well, that would be a big, you know, time commitment or something like that. Most people are very reasonable about, about using that service. And, and I get a few calls a week and that's fine. You know, that's, that's what, that's what I'm there for. Right. Um, I'd rather they call me and ask the question than worry about it and, and, you know, or, or come in and see me about a problem so that let's solve it before it gets to be a big problem. And that's partly where, I think concierge medicine has made it some pro, you know, progress in society a little bit is some initial data has already shown that people who have a, a practice relationship with a smaller practice tend to have somewhat uh, better outcomes, in fact. You know, less times they're in the hospital, less times they have to go to an emergency room. Their, their problem doesn't get out of control. I mean, when you call a traditional office now, many times they say, well, yeah, we could see you in a week or two weeks. Well, that that's, might be fine for a routine follow-up, but that's not great if you feel bad today. Right. And instead of getting worse and ending up in an urgent care center or an emergency room, let's go see your actual doctor and let them take a look at you, the same person that's seen you for the last number of years and, and has a good continuity with you. Now, you were located in uh, Scottsdale uh, right off of Shea and Frank Lloyd Wright. Correct. Uh, their website is utopiaprimarycare.com. You do free consultations? Absolutely. I, you know, a lot of times I think with, with kind of anything that's new, you know, it's helpful to maybe sit down and let's talk and, and see if it's right for a given person. And, and so absolutely, first time, you know, seeing someone, let's, you know, let's sit and talk and describe what they, what they think they would like to have out of a, a physician and a practice and see if that's something that, that, that I can provide. Or, and there's other concierge physicians. It's not just me. There's many around. And, and if you can find one that, that's near to you or you like it, I, I think it can be a valuable tool for a lot of people. Now, your phone number is 480-355-0600. Again, that website is utopiaprimarycare.com. And I'm just going to ask you this. Do you focus on any type of medicine for, or is you something that you actually specialize in at all? You know, I, more of a, you know, I have a general practice. I see 
people of all ages, but but realistically, it's mostly adults and probably more in the geriatric group. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way, but that, that's sort of how it turns out. I mean, those people often need more services and have more medical conditions that they would really like to have a one-on-one with, and, and so that's sort of how it turns out, but that's not my, my only interest. All right. But what are the advantages, then, of concierge medicine? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, a lot of them are going to be that, you know, you, you have one physician, they see you all the time. You know, they get to know you, uh, you get to know them, uh, you have a great continuity, both whether it's, you know, in the office, whether you have to be in the hospital, you have to be in an emergency room, they can coordinate that and quarterback that care for you across, you know, many, many spectrum. Um, you know, nowadays, unfortunately, with, with how things work, most primary care doctors can't afford to go to the hospital. They're, they're having to see so many patients in their office, and I used to be there, uh, that there's no more extra time. So you go to the hospital, you see a hospitalist. You get out of the hospital, you go to a rehab facility, you see a different doctor there. By the time you get back to your primary care doctor, they don't have any idea what's going on. The communication may or may not be perfect between all those entities, and they have to start all over again, and, and you're lost for a third time. I would really like to see people have you know, one quarterback that, that takes care of the whole package. Right. I think that's, that's where the advantage is, really. And with you, you can do that, correct? Absolutely. And you do free consultations. His phone number is area code 480-355-0600. On your website, do you yeah. kind of have a lot of the information about what concierge yeah, medicine we have, we, is about? Yeah, we have some things there, you know, and kind of describes my background a little bit. What, are your back, right? what is your background? Well, I, you know, I'm actually a, a local, which is, uh, there's not too many of us that are over about age five, I don't think. Uh, so I, but I'm, I'm a local here. I went to high school in, in Tempe and grew up in Tempe and Ahwatukee area. Uh, went to Arizona State for my undergraduate and uh, off to the University of Texas for medical school and came back, did my residency here and opened uh, or joined an existing practice in 1991 uh, uh, in the South Scottsdale area. And then in 2007, I moved out to my current location and my wife practices with me. She's a pediatrician, uh, Dr. Tracy Drummond. And uh, she's, uh, you know, she's great, and, and we, we have a great time practicing together and, and had a good time. Right. And now um, when you, again, we know that you see patients of all ages, mm -hmm. but it does tend to be for some reason, maybe because especially with the concierge side of it, that the um, a little bit older generation tend to... Yeah, I think, to... I think younger people, I mean, you know, there, there is a cost to concierge medicine. Mm -hmm. It's not free. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, there, there is a fee. And because of that, I think uh, people who are younger and consider themselves healthier, uh, probably would, uh, make, might err towards, you know, using their traditional physician because they don't go in very often. But those people that have, I think, a few more problems and, and have concerns and, and want a little closer follow-up also usually have the means to do that, and, and it makes more sense for them. How about when you talk about means? Mm -hmm. Is it affordable? Well, you know, it's a good question. Um, you know, m my annual fee is, is $2,000 a year for a, a person. Um, that includes anything that I can do for them, uh, including office visits, hospital visits, immunizations, um, you know, in-office procedures. However many time How, they want to? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I they have, need to? Yeah, within reason, I think. You know, the, my, there's a little contract we sign, and, and there's some limits that are just put in there for legal reasons, but I don't really wander around uh, counting every office visit and make sure that people are, are in some sure. narrow range, you right. know. Uh, but uh, try to include everything that, that I can. Uh, on the other hand, I don't collect any co-payments or co-insurances or deductibles, so there's savings there. Some people can find that with the insurance options that they have, they may be able to raise their deductible or change their coverage somewhat, and that alone may pay for most of the difference in cost. Um, it doesn't seem like a t lot of money, you know, really considering having somebody that you can, you know, a doctor that yeah. you can really get to know and uh, they know you, and you can call them when you need to. I mean, it just really, it sounds very affordable. Yeah, I think most people found that it, that once they kind of get into it, they I think they would never change back out, let's put it that way. You know, I have a renewal rate that's about 97 98%, so I think that speaks to the fact that, you know, I think people people like, what, like it once they get in, uh, but sometimes it takes a little explaining to really kind of get through, because it is, it is different. Uh, and, and when they start up. And so that's why I usually try to see them, you know, one time for free up, you know, right off the bat. So let, let's talk about it a little bit and, and really, really describe it. We're going to go to a break. When we come back, we want to talk about some of the other services that you offer and how you can help people. Concierge medicine, it is sort of the new wave here of the, the you know, now in these days. His phone number again, it is 480-355-0600. It's utopiaprimarycare.com. We'll be back in just a minute.
This is Fatima. I have four decades of experience as a telepathic visionary healer. Let me find out what's ailing you and remove the pain that has become a negative pattern within your life. Find out how opening up your chakras lets your natural energy flow freely. Allow yourself to be healed naturally with a customized healing treatment. Call 844-5-FATIMA. That's 844-532-8462. One of the most thoughtful things that you can do for your family is planning for your funeral or cremation. It leaves your loved ones with guidance and support when they need it the most. Pre-planning ensures that all details are in order so that there are more answers than questions. Call 480-832-2850 for a free personal planning guide or take a tour of our beautiful cemetery and newly remodeled funeral home. Call 480-832-2850. Mountain View Funeral Home and Cemetery.com. Have you been injured? Has someone in your family been killed as a result of someone else's negligence? Hi, I'm Barry Lewin. For over 35 years, I've been helping people with serious injuries. To find out if you have a viable case, call me for a free consultation at 602 325 1141. That's 602 325 1141. For more information, visit my website, BarryLewinLaw.com. Are you tired of low interest rates on your savings accounts and certificates of deposit? Are you aware that the IRS taxes the interest earned on your savings and CDs as ordinary income, which erodes your earnings and may also trigger taxes on your Social Security benefits? Ouch! I have a Band-Aid, the CD Alternative. To find out more about this financial opportunity, call today, 623-500-6143, 623-500-6143. You wouldn't dare build a house without a blueprint, and neither should you invest without a plan. I'm David Fisher, CEO of Landmark Capital Gold Group. We specialize in tailor-made portfolios. It's your financial blueprint. Landmark Capital can show you how to put physical metals, gold and silver, into your retirement, your 401k and IRA, and take physical possession. The process is easy. Call the Landmark team at 602-287-9200. That's 602-287-9200 or LandmarkGold.com. Freeze it, shrink it, shake it, shape it, bake it till you look good naked. ESOS is the place to earn that swimsuit body without the soreness, injury, or pain associated with traditional exercise. Call now to hear how you can be a part of this revolutionary body-shaping non-surgical process. Just off the 101 at Shea Boulevard, directly west of the PGA Superstore, call 480-625-3100. That's 480-625-3100. If I traded it all. We are back and we are talking with Dr. Baird and he is the owner of Utopia Primary Care. He's located in um, Scottsdale at the southeast corner of Shea and Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh, he's been in practice since 1991. He is a... Uh, he is an Arizonian exactly, yes. <laughs> from here, yep. and uh, he has, you know, a lot of people are now starting to hear about this uh, concierge. It's a, and, and we were just talking at the break uh, about how most people really, we, they have catastrophic insurance, so they have to be dead before they can even see a doctor, you know, right? Oh, well, yeah, and, and I think one thing is kind of, that is important to know with, even with a concierge medicine practice, is you still should have, a, a st you still need insurance, you know. Certainly, the the law, uh, you know, tells oh, yeah. you that you, you have, have to, to. But you also need it for those catastrophic things, for hospitalizations, for emergency visits, for radiology services, for lab, etc. But uh, for that primary care piece, which still for a lot of people is is a majority of what they spend in a year, um, I would rather, you know, I think I'd rather see them under this other system, uh, concierge medicine system, because I think then, you know, we're I think in the long run, you'll save money. Well, it's like, you know, going to a boutique. Sure. As opposed to going to these big box store and having them go, you just, you're just a piece of meat, basically. Well, and, and your relationship is very much, you know, with, with the patient. The, you know, right now, the, the current system works where the insurance company has wedged itself, or the government in terms of Medicare or Medicaid access, et cetera, has wedged itself in between the physician and the patient. Mm -hmm. And concierge medicine takes that out of there. So if you don't like what I'm doing, you, you get rid of me. 
you know, and, and uh, I, I better clean up my act. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, right now uh, most physicians are so busy, if they uh, make some patients upset or, or they don't think things are going that well, eh, you know, there's, there's 10 more that will come in tomorrow. Right. You but know? at the same time, too, you said that your, turn, your renewal rate is Absolutely. like, what did you say, 95%? 97 98%. That's a lot. That's so a lot. I, I think, yeah, I think that speaks to the fact that I think people are searching for something, something different. They may not always know how to find it. Uh, exactly, or what these things are. You know, um, you know, even even very busy professionals. I think it, it makes some sense for because right now, under again under the current system, if I need to to get paid to see a patient, I have to see them in the office. I can't uh, have an email with them or a phone call with them. There's no reimbursement for that, so it just doesn't happen. But there are a lot of things where pa- patients just have questions or concerns or or ideas or or something quick they don't need to drive all the way down and 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 see me you know they we could talk in a in a different way and and i think technology allows us to have secure means of communication uh that is still compliant with laws and etc um and i want to call in and get my script told i don't want to have to go into the doctor that's what i want everybody can agree with that right you know whenever you know you got a little something it's always on the weekend it's always on the night at night when you can't do anything and you want to call your doctor and say hey doc i got a little something going on and have him say no problem. Here's a script. Go ahead. Take care of it. Bada boom. It's done. And, and there are certainly those times that, that are, that's useful. I mean, I had a, a gal email me just yesterday. She's going on a trip and she has had a little bit of a cold and she wanted to, to, to know what, you know, what should she do to not get her ears all full? You know, uh, but, so without coming in, we solved that problem. She went on her trip. She's, you know, she's going to do fine. And, and that didn't waste two hours of her time and, and et cetera, et cetera. It didn't require that. Right. Um, some things still, of course, require an office visit. We don't want to say, oh, never come in. Right, no, you no. Know, but we want to have options. Or if people are out of town, I mean, I have a lot of people who travel. They might travel for the summer uh, to be away for parts of the summer, or, the, or they travel for work. Uh, if they still have a problem that comes up, you still have somebody you can contact without saying, well, just go to the emergency room there in Boston. Right, you know, exactly. or whatever, You know, and, and, and rack up a gigantic bill. Let's, let's see if we can't bridge some way of, of dealing with whatever the issue is until we can get you back here and get seen. Or at least I could triage you to the right place, perhaps there in Boston. Let's let's let, yes, you do need to be seen, but let's let's figure out where that should be. Now he he does free consultations. His phone number is four eight zero three five five zero six zero zero. The website is utopiaprimarycare.com. dot com. So typical services then are what? Well, you know, I think so. For me personally, you know, I I include my office visits, my um, uh, my hospital visits if, if patients do need to be seen in the hospital. Um, I incu- include all of their immunizations, uh, whether that's just routine immunizations that they need, like a flu shot every year, or or at age appropriate times for pneumonia shots, shingles vaccines, etc. Uh, but I also include things like travel vaccines, so people who are going to go on that once in a lifetime safari trip to Africa and need yellow fever vaccine. Well, let's let's do that and get let's keep you healthy, mm-hmm. you know, because that's a lot of the I guess the the impetus really is let's try to figure out ways of dealing with illness and preventing illness that's going to be more proactive not reactive Uh, because a lot of medicine now is we wait till you get sick and then come in and be seen well let's let's try to make sure everybody's well has their annual exam you know gets all their preventative things done so we can keep you as healthy as you can but you do have patients that are older that require way more oh absolutely sure yeah i mean there's a lot of people that have a lot of chronic medical problems and and that's that's okay that you know that's the hand they're dealt but let's deal with that in the best way we can to keep you as healthy as we can get you know coordinate the right specialist team get the right tests and you know et cetera. i mean i've been in practice in scottsdale a long time and because of that i i've gotten to know a lot of uh the the specialists and the other people in the community so i can you know i can kind of help refer to the right people you know because not every not every specialist is going to be right for a given patient, and I can kind of help match that up, both based on their maybe their personalities, but also uh, their, the physician's skill set that I might be referring to. You had said when you first came on that actually sometimes concierge medicine can be actually better for the patient's health. Mm-hmm. What did you mean by that? Well, there's, there's, there's certainly you know, some initial data. This is still a new enough process that it's not been studied fully, but... Uh, you know, that, that people uh, have less emergency room visits, they have less hospitalizations, uh, which certainly in the long run keeps, keeps overall health costs down, both for the individual patient but also society in general. 
Um, I think, you know, being a member of a, of a smaller practice that can respond to needs in a more timely way uh, has to be more cost effective. Right. And you had also, this is great. I didn't know about this. The last question here is, uh, is concierge medicine available for just in, individuals or can companies also take advantage of that? It, it's, a, it's a good point. I think right now it's pretty much been individuals sign up and, and uh, you know, they, they find that that's the right thing for them. I, my personal opinion is I think companies could find a lot of benefit because, again, they have the ability to change their health plan parameters and I, you know, I think as a benefit, if if we had, you know, more people who were who were uh, assigned to a smaller practice, more intimate practice, especially something maybe near where that company was at, uh, I think we could decrease absenteeism. We could make, you know, that we could have wellness, you know, uh, events for their employees. Uh, you you know, if you need it, everybody needs their flu shot. Let's send someone over to them to get the flu shot, as opposed to forty people going and getting their flu shot at forty different places, missing work. Let's have somebody come to them. I think there's a lot of ways that a company could benefit, but again, it's it's still early enough in the process that that not as many is taking advantage of that yet. Well, though, if somebody's listening to this, uh, mm-hmm. either maybe you work for a company, you might want to uh, give them a call because you can talk to them, or someone can you know kind of go over what that would entail. Absolutely, and I've I've had I've had a couple patients who've told me that their companies are starting to offer some reimbursement for concierge fees that is part of their potential benefit package they can sort of check boxes on their on their employee benefits forms and and uh, get some reimbursement for that so that i think i think some companies are starting to come around but but uh I, i really feel like more and more could benefit than probably are now and again i want you to get out that of course people do have to have Health insurance. Absolutely. Go ahead and say that just for the last part of it. Go yeah. Ahead. So you still need your health plan coverage for for the big ticket items, and and obviously, you know, we still collect the insurance information at my office, not because we're ever going to use it to file, etc. But you know, we want to be able to run to run you to the right lab, to the right X-ray facility, to the right hospital, to the right specialist that make sure they're on your plan and, and will be covered as best as we can do it. We get the medications right because everybody has formularies to deal with now and some medicines are on and some aren't. But we, we try to keep all of that, you know, uh, uh, within our purview because we know how to do it mm-hmm. and, and keep that less out of the patient, which is, is hard for them. Especially so, older patients, you know, it, it, it's a complicated uh, system we live in. Sure, but you also, I want to get out to the two, what's your youngest patient age? Oh, I have some a couple teenagers that okay. I see. Absolutely. See? So you do take anywhere from younger on a, all Absolutely. the way up. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I I try to try to sign up families. That's really my goal is, is to try to get as many people in a family unit as I can, and and that fee goes down with each patient. I was just going to ask you what's the difference between a singular uh, membership and a family. Yeah. So two thousand dollars for the first patient that in a family unit, and I'm pretty liberal about family unit. Uh, fifteen hundred for the second, and a thousand for each and every one after that. So it it tried to make it a little more cost effective to add more people as it goes. Sure. What are your final words, Doc? Uh, you know, I, I I would love to talk with some people and and give them a little more information. You know, I I think uh, you know even if it's not right for them right now, maybe it's right for them in the future or 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 for their employer, et cetera, and I'm, I'm more than happy to, to talk to him about it. Find out by calling him. His number is 480-355-0600. He does free consultations with everyone. He's located in the southeast corner of Shea and Frank Lloyd Wright in Scottsdale. His website is utopiaprimarycare.com. Do you have IRS tax problems? Are they keeping you up at night? If your tax problems are affecting your family life, you need to know you have options. Call Ted Watkins, enrolled agent before IRS, the tax expert who will handle your case. We negotiate settlements with the IRS, the Arizona Department of Revenue, as well as prepare past due tax returns. Call us at 602-363-1952 or 602-418-7308. Newsflash, never be fat or smoke again. Break any habit or addiction in as few as three to seven days. No withdrawal. Yeah, you heard me right. No matter if you're 40 pounds or 140 pounds overweight, smoke one pack or four packs a day. You will be free. Call our information line at 623-266-1392 for free consultation. Your habit or addictive behaviors now can be a thing of the past. Call Hypnotic One at 623-266-1392. Now, you take control of your life instead of being controlled by life. Call now, Hypnotic One at 623-266-1392. You're listening to Independent Talk, 1100 
KFNX, Cave Creek, Phoenix, a division of Premier Radio Stations. It's 4 o'clock. Special report, the Indiana primary. All polls have now closed in Indiana, and Republican frontrunner Donald Trump is hoping for a big win. Correspondent Steve Kastenbaum. After the harsh criticism from Ted Cruz today, he ripped into Trump, calling him a narcissist and a habitual liar, among other things. All bets are off. There's no telling what Donald will have to say when he enters the lobby of Trump.